Welcome to our Faith Lift message for today. We've been looking at uh, five lessons through James 1 for the past few days. We've been looking at the, the unity of the Christian faith, as, as James teaches us, that no matter where we go, we've got this unity, uh, brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, he calls himself a bondservant, and our, our emphasis is that we are called to save slavery in terms of serving Christ with our newfound freedom. But in James 1 verse 5, it says, If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God, who gives generously to all without reproach. And it will be given him. Let him ask in faith with no doubting. For one who doubts is like a wave of the sea that is driven and tossed by the wind. For that person must not suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. He's a double-minded uh, man, unstable in all his ways. Access to God. This is what James reminds us in James 1. He says, if you need something, go to God. If you need wisdom, then we can come to the King of Kings. And, reminds, and he reminds you and me of our privilege of going to God. Uh, where do you normally go when you're, when you're stuck, when you have no idea what to do, when you need wisdom? Maybe it's Google, maybe it's a friend, but when you face a circumstance in your life, uh, James reminds us that we can go to God. We can actually go to the God of all creation, that you and me can approach Him. If we need wisdom, let's start with God first. Is He the one that we go to? But also, when James says go to God, it also reminds me of the God that we serve. When you compare God to, uh, to other religions and the, the different gods with the small g that other religions serve, uh, I'm amazed at the God that I serve. Because He invites us to come to Him with the questions that we have about our lives. And that He wants to help direct and guide us on how we should live. Uh, you know, when we need wisdom for our life, God says, come to me and I will help you. You know, other religions call on, on their God uh, because what happens is you go and you say, God, what must I do to please you, to make you happy? How do you want me to serve you to make your life the best? And God says, no, I'm, I'm here to, to help you live life to the full. And so James remind us, reminds us that when we're, we're stuck for wisdom, we must go to God. But then also that God gives. James usually says, ask in faith. And I love that, that definition of faith. It's about hearing God. Believing what you've heard to be of God and then to act upon it. Faith has got those steps to hear, believe and act. And that God has answers for your life, for every single one of our lives. God wants to help us. He wants to guide us. So when you need wisdom, James says, go to God. You have access. Go to Him first. Where do you need God in your life today? Maybe you needed this reminder to, to go to Him first and finding solutions everywhere else. Let's pray. Lord, just thank you for this privilege that we get to come to you when we're in need. And that, Lord, I'm reminded that you just, you're interested in our lives. You, you want to help us and guide us with the struggles that we face. And just thank you, Lord, that we can lean on you, that we can hear your word, that we can, we can believe it, put our faith and trust into it, and then act upon it. And so, Lord, thank you that we get to come to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a blessed day.